Welcome into Adventures, Coquelin's Adventures channel update number 141. Today is 10 16 24. Uh, we. Titles. I originally was going to call this I'm the Slime because I just saw One Shot Deal. That was one of their songs. I think one of the last songs that they did. No, no, Stinkfoot was the last song. Um, but then I thought Bob Dylan's Too Much of Nothing. Because that's kind of the way last week and this week have been. And then I thought, Holiday by the Kinks. So I'll let you decide what this one's going to be. I'm, I'm probably going to go with I'm the Slime, which is the one I first put up. Because I'm the slime oozing out of your TV set. And pretty slimy today. Um, Number-wise, we started at uh, 49.06 last week, last Wednesday. That was our, our subscriber or adventurer number. Uh, we hit 49.58 this morning. So next week, we will cross the 5,000 adventurer subscriber plateau. Um, so that's, that's pretty exciting. It, it's a little sooner than I thought. I thought it would take until at least Halloween, if not uh, Thanksgiving or even Christmas before we'd hit that number. So thank you all. Thanks for watching and uh, liking. Um, we also, I saw this last week. I th think I might have mentioned it, the, the total views of the channel. I saw 2.9 million views last week, but that was lifetime. So it was just credited to me yesterday. Uh, so it could be that they're doing year to date, like 365 days back rather than total lifetime of the channel, but it's a week difference. So uh, <coughs> almost 3 million views so far to this channel. That could happen in another, certainly by next month and certainly possibly by the next couple of weeks to hit 3 million views. That's, to paraphrase uh, Moody Blues, I never thought I'd get to be a million. Anyway, um, last week, this week. Last week, I had a couple of things uh, I could have seen. I could have seen uh, Tom Rotella at the Baked Potato or something called the Bob Malone Band at the Grand Annex Hall that had, this was like a last, a, the day before notice. Uh, so it wasn't listed in the, the private previous uh, channel update, but it was, um, I was notified by John uh, Mader from Carl Verheyen Band. Uh, Bob Malone is a keyboardist who's also played with, with John in John Fogarty Band. So there's that, and then Shane Therio, uh, Shane Terrio, uh, from Hall and Oates and uh, Biodegradable and La Combo. Um, so a bunch of really good players. I didn't go to that either. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. But what I did go to was at Alva Showroom, uh, the immediate, not the immediate family. One shot deal. They feel like a family to me. Uh, it was so good to see all the players, uh, Ben, Billy, uh, Joe. Uh, they uh, Matt Rody was back on keyboards. Jamie Kime on guitar. Um, Sheila wasn't with them. Sheila was uh, out on tour with a big band. So. Uh, we didn't get the, the joy of that, but it was a, a different dynamic. Uh, every time they add or change a player, it it, it has, and, and the mix of songs was something I'd never, there's a few of the standards, but they did some songs I'd never heard them do before. So check those videos out. They're coming up. There's still maybe about five or six that I haven't posted that'll come up in the next five days or so. So that'll get us through to the next week. I was going to go last night to see Jody's showcase at uh, um, Project Barley Burling, Brewing 
in Lamita, and it had Jeff Sil Silber, uh, Becca Byram, who I'd seen before, Doug Lacey, who I'd seen before. Getting to it. I'm getting tired. I'm spending so much time putting these videos up. Uh, now it's 21 videos a day. It's, it's seven long form, uh, seven, one, one per hour from seven until 1 PM. Um, on the half hour it's shorts. And then now I've added at the quarter, uh, the third quarter, the 45 minute mark, things that I call trivia blips. Uh, they're little eight to 10 second long little trivia pictures, you know, with a topic and then it'll, it'll have a little blurb underneath it and then five or seven seconds in, it'll change to the the punchline, so to speak, or the trivia res resolution. And, and I've been adding music to that so that it reflects that and it's a little bit more entertaining. I did it just raw to begin with and I was like, it was missing something. So it's time consuming. You know, I have to look at the, the printed out trivia that I made, uh, thanks to ChatGPT at first and then um, uh, Perplexity, uh, coming up with like 50 at a time of these trivia bits. Uh, and then I, I have to find out what the, the gist of the, the panel is and find music that matches somewhat to it and then go in and edit the two together and then upload them. And it, it can be, it's gotten quicker, but the hard part is finding the, the music that matches and then downloading that and then pairing it together and making sure that I can match them up because I do them seven at a time for each day. And then editing them together, titling them, putting them over, uploading them, and then getting prepared for presentation and scheduling. So I do that with the shorts and I also do that long with the long form, but it's just time consuming. I, I start like at maybe 9.30 or 10. I finish at two in the clock in the morning if I'm lucky, it took me to three last night. So uh, holiday <laughs> or uh, too much of nothing. I'm the slime. Anyway, that's that's the channel update for this coming week. I have potentially Mike Miller's All Stars at the Baked Potato, and that's with Jimmy Johnson, Chad Wackerman, Mitch Foreman on keyboards, Mike Miller on guitar, of course. Um, I really want to do that, so that's probably what I'll do. I might go to the Late Show for that because also that night at the Sun Rose is Judith Owen and I haven't seen her for a couple of years, uh, at least performing. Um, I think the last time I saw her was near my birthday in 2021. She was at a uh, book signing of Leland Sklar's uh, on Ventura Boulevard. So that may be the last time I saw her in person. So. We'll see. Uh, it's also finances, time, all that stuff. The week after that, not so much. Um, but then things pick up beginning of next month. So, um, slide pop. Well, that's the following week, following two weeks, actually. So, uh, and as always happens, there's always going to be something like after I finish this video, Today, tomorrow, the next day, there'll be something that pops up that is a possibility. I might see something at Campus Jacks that I want to attend and go to. And we need to talk to them about some possible future bookings and rebookings uh, for next year. So we'll see what goes with that. But um, that's kind of the status of the channel right now. I am, I just discovered yesterday. Uh, Pinterest. I mean, I knew it was there, but I hadn't been using it. I think I put two or three things up on my channel before then 
for Coelho's Ventures on, Pater, on Pinterest. But I found from another video saying about how you can link things that I can use my Amazon affiliate links there so that people like the video or the short that I put up, they can follow the link, they can get, like for instance, uh, Alan Hines finally released uh, The Good Fight. There's a link there that you can get the MP3 from Amazon uh, from that. And also something I saw today, there's a possibility of me finally um, starting my Coheland's Adventures audiobooks channel. I, I've had it there since I started this, but I just haven't had the time to move over and do that and figure out how to do that. But I might start it off as a faceless channel and just put up audiobook links and maybe some some samples and of course links to the Amazon Audible channel links uh, so that if you like what you hear or are told about I can I talk, talk about the voice actors I can talk about the authors I can talk about the books or book, book series uh, so that's something I might get into but again um, time intensive so I've got to find a way of making this channel more financially viable so I can stop doing the Grubhub stuff and spend more time doing the editing and the presentation of this so if you like any of the videos if you're doing it on, on your phone you can always do a super thanks and send me a dollar or five dollars or something like that uh, there's also some people are still utilizing the buy me a cup of coffee. Thank you to those people who have done that recently. Um, and share. Share the videos that you like that are coming up. Through, whether it's a short or whether it's a full-length video. If you like it, click it and, and share it to friends that you know so that there'll be more viewing of the channel. Um, there has been an uptick since I started the, the little trivia blips um i was maybe steady four thousand views per day uh and it went to six and seven thousand views per day and then i stopped it for a day and it dropped back down to four thousand so i'm gonna continue with that um the cool thing about the trivia blips is some good music matching up with the videos. The first batch, I didn't get the the spacing right of the title, so some of the information is cut off. You can tell on those those videos immediately visual, visually it, it won't match up. But I've since learned by my process, and it it looks better. And most of the times, the the kerning or the spacing of the the topic and the the statement and the the answer all fit properly so uh and it's eight to ten seconds of time and they've they've been getting some of the those short videos uh have been getting as much as the real short videos the the music videos that i've cut shorts out of that link to um to the original video so anyway i'm getting long-winded on this unlike me get thee to a concert and until then much love and let me know what you think in the comments take care